Hey guys, I am Gautam and welcome to Ethics. So in this video, I am going to talk about something likely to be very genuine question. I want to answer that question that how many marks you have to score to get into IITs, NITs or ISRs. Okay. So before uh, we start, I just want to uh, get some help from you. That's if someone knows about this thing that why uh, the number of subscribers is uh, decreasing of mine. So I am not getting the answer because uh, in the last few days, I have seen that my subscribers are decreasing instead of increasing it, it, it is decreasing okay and more than 60 70 subscribers are already gets decreased so I don't know why uh, why this is happening so if you know why the reason you just leave a comment below okay so whatever let's begin our topic so uh, it's a very genuine question as I have told you that uh, you your this question generally comes to your mind that what marks or how many marks you have to score to get into IITs okay basically the question is for IITs I am not talking about IJAS or NITs, okay. So how many marks? But uh, actually what happens, more than 50,000 students uh, every year, okay, uh, are generally appear in that examination, IIT jam examination. And uh, within uh, at least, uh, if I talk about, uh, if I take uh, IJAS, NITs, IITs, then only 5% of that students can get into any uh, total in this institute, okay. Other students, that is 95% uh, students, they, they have no idea what to do after the jam okay they generate takes uh, some admissions okay in the normal universities or other institutes okay or private institutions or they just uh, go for the government job preparation like that so the question is do you want to stay in that five percent or 95 percent the question is very genuine okay and uh, i'm talking why i'm talking about this question because uh, this is the question that you have to ask yourself and this question whatever answer you will get that will decide your future okay so why uh, because let me tell you something that, uh, suppose you are reading absolutely good okay you are in absolutely good but you know as you are not sure about what will happen in the future so now you are in between the five percent and ninety five percent okay the nine the condition of ninety five percent students and the condition of five percent student you are in between that that condition okay so you have to clear that if you want to go there or if you want to go here that is 95 percent or five percent okay so you have to decide it now and it's now only one month left and i have already make made one video regarding one month strategy what you need to do especially what especially what you need to do and uh that that i have you can just follow or if you have your own strategy that also good but more or less the strategy should, should be the same uh but uh let me tell you that uh now you are as you are in the this condition okay not 95 percent not five percent as you are reading okay but you are if you are start you are thinking that if you if you start from now and you will crack the jam uh, that's quite impossible okay because uh, it's not possible whoever wants to tell me uh, i don't i don't know that uh, it's not possible actually because a lot of things are there if you are uh, if you already cleared your graduation syllabus okay or like that things then then, it, then of course you will clear you have already cleared the uh, 95 percent or 90 percent idm syllabus that i am not talking about i am talking about that if you haven't started your preparation that, then it's impossible okay otherwise if i talk about marks or how many marks you need to score that's that's not actually exact question okay because let me under make you understand that uh, suppose this year or suppose i have taken jump 2018 and jump 2019 okay let me take this example in jump 2018 the, the the student who has who had got uh 58 marks okay in 2018 his uh, or her rank will be like uh 400 to 500 in between that okay but if someone is in jam 2019 and he uh, had got uh, 20, uh, 58 marks his or her rank will be or uh, was like uh, 200 or 250 in between so why because the marks is same why this rank uh, why the rank varies so you have asked a lot of questions regarding the same that how many marks you have to score to get into IITs so this question somewhere it's not valid okay because it equal why because uh, in the same marks okay with that same mark, someone is uh, getting 400 rank, someone is getting 200 rank. Why is that? The double difference, a huge difference, like, you know. So why is that? The reason behind this, this is the question pattern, the question uh, quality, okay, the difficulty level. So that matters actually. So remember this one. If you are asking and uh, someone is giving you exact answer, if you want to get uh, 200 rank, you, will, you have to score 60. It's not like that. Okay, because uh, it's uh, I, I I never told you I never told anything about that that this with these marks you will get these ranks. 
okay i can just give the idea with uh, because uh, generally question uh, actually of course it depends on the question pattern difficulty level but i can just give you an idea simple idea that with more than 50 marks you can easily get into iits okay more than 50 marks but sometimes if the question is very easy the difficulty level is very less okay then uh, with nearly if you uh, get more than 55 marks then you will get into iits okay so this kind of things generally happen so just uh, do remember and do try to understand this thing okay and uh, now you should ask me that then how many marks we have to uh, make that as a target to achieve okay so i will tell you 55 okay exact and clear answer 55 oh, i'm not i'm not talking about that if you don't target for 70 or 80 i am not talking about that minimum marks the, tar the target should be 55 okay for your safety if not suppose you are targeting 55 and uh, you, you will get 50 marks okay and the question difficulty level is nearly medium then you will definitely get iits okay but in general target okay in general target is you should uh, now because you don't know i don't know the question pattern or difficulty level of jam 2020 so we should uh, we should take a uh, average marks we should take a standard marks that should be 55 okay if you get 65 I can or you can imagine that uh, you can easily get into IITs, okay. But this is not also true. If the question pattern is very, very easy, then maybe it's 60, okay. Most of the students will get more than 60 marks. Then, of course, it will uh, make your uh, ranks further bad, okay. So, that actually, that is the main thing. And another thing is, uh, whatever the question pattern is, this is also true, okay. Remember this one. This is also true that whatever the question pattern is, or question difficulty level is, uh, Generally, students don't get more than 55 marks. Okay, most of the students because uh, it's uh, MSQ type questions, MSQ type questions. So these questions are very sensitive. So if you want to tick this thing, you have to think a lot. Okay, before ticking that answer. Okay, so uh, these kind of things generally uh, also you have to take care of. So it's it doesn't mean that the question uh, is very tough. The uh, exam is very tough to qualify the exam or. If the, uh, the quality to qualify the exam it's very easy it's not too easy it's not too tough it's in between that okay so I, I thought I, th I know that I am not making I am not uh, talking about very clear concept but it's it's like that okay you know you are, you are getting the points what I am talking about okay what I want to tell you so uh, that's the thing that no marks no one can tell you the exact marks that you have to uh, score to get into IITs so as I have told you that uh, Suppose, suppose, let me tell you, as I have told you, more than 55 students and only 5% students generally get into IJRs, IITs and then IITs. So, in that 5% students, in those 5% students, only 3% can uh, take admissions in IITs. And only 1% students get good IITs. So, out of 100%, only 1% students get good IITs. And good IITs means where you can expect for better placement. Okay. So, just one person student that means out of 100 only one students will get that so it's quite you are thinking oh god it's quite tough it's not like that you are thinking it's tough your friend is thinking it's tough another friend is thinking it's tough but everyone is thinking it's tough, it's tough. but some of you will get that chance to get into these institutes okay so just do read and do follow the strategy whatever you have uh, got in my previous videos and just read yourself and uh, one more thing that let me just summarize this one that in this one month do revise do uh, practice last previous question first and do practice if you have any joined any test series okay so just do these things follow uh, thoroughly and just uh, and most important thing is just uh, do solve last five years question papers this is very important okay that i am talking i am telling you that this is seriously very important you will get the complete idea of question pattern okay so that's all about this video and thank you. Thanks for watching.